the lack of official information in the days immediately after the disappearance step into the gallery of wafa witty atal a beautiful angle born to mr abdul hamid and mrs subaibath she is an artist good at calligraphy an obedient daughter and a beloved sister her journey to the finals is full of creative brilliance and the harmonious symphony in a canvas adorned with hues of creativity and melodies of inspiration there exists a masterpiece a singular soul who has braved the canvas of life with unwavering passion and grace wafa break a leg dear to play your family travel suddenly disappears what will be your reaction yes today i'm going to talk about a plane which suddenly went missing ms 370 was an international passenger flight operated by malaysia airlines that disappeared from radar on 8 march 2014 while flying from kuala lumpur international airport in malaysia to its planned destination Beijing Capital International Airport in China. The reason for the disappearance has not been conclusively determined. The crew of the Boeing 777-200ER, registered as Nana Mamaro, last communicated with air traffic control around 38 minutes after the takeoff when the flight was over the South China Sea. The aircraft was lost from the ATC secondary surveillance radar screens minutes later. but was staggered by the Malaysian military's primary radar system for another hour. Deviating westward from its planned flight path, crossing the Malay Peninsula and Andaman Sea, it left radar range 200 nautical miles northwest of Penang Island in Peninsula, Malaysia. With all 227 passengers and 12 crews aboard Bishop Dead, The disappearance of flight 370 was the deadliest incident involving a Boeing 777 and deadliest in Malaysia Airlines history. The loss caused significant financial problems for Malaysia Airlines which was renationalized by the Malaysian government in August 2014. The search for the missing airplane became the most expensive search in the history of aviation. It focused initially on South China Sea and Andaman Sea. Before our novel analysis of the aircraft's automated communication with an inman sat satellite indicated that the plane had traveled far southward over the southern Indian Ocean. The lack of official information in the days immediately after the disappearance prompted fierce criticism from the Chinese public, particularly from the relatives of the passengers. As most of the people on board flight 70 were of Chinese origin. Several pieces of debris washed ashore in the western Indian Ocean. Many of these were confirmed to have originated from flight 370. After a 3-year search across 120,000 kilometers of ocean failed to locate the aircraft, the operation suspended its activities in January 2017. A second search launched in January 2018 by private contractor Ocean Infinity also ended without success after 6 months. Relying mostly on analysis of data from the InMatSat satellite with which the aircraft was communicated, the Ocean Transit Safety Bureau proposed initially that a hypoxia event was the most likely cause given the available evidence, although no consensus has been reached concerning this theory among investigators. At various stages of investigation, possible hijacking scenarios were considered. including crew involvement and suspicion of the aircraft's cargo manifest many disappearance theories regarding the airplane have also been reported by the media the malaysian ministry of the transport's final report was inconclusive and made no mention that the pilot may have been committing suicide it highlighted malaysian atc's failure to attempt to communicate with the aircraft shortly after its disappearance In closing, let us remember that even in the face of tragedy, there is strength in unity, solace in shared grief, and hope in the resilience of the human spirit. As we navigate the difficult path ahead, may our collective support and cooperation save us a piece of the support. Thank you.